Today at Glenmore, we had our pumpkin chunkin' event where we got to catapult or slingshot pumpkins across our backfield. We had, we've been studying force and motion and gravity in science, and so we had our students devise a launching device for small pumpkins so that they could, so that they could see how gravity and push and pull work together and either stop things or cause them to move. We wanted to give them a fun and a practical, a practical application of gravity. We wanted them to be able to see the effects. And so we've made some hypotheses about which would go the furthest, which design would be the most effective, why certain things will work, why they won't. We had them draw out some designs. They're going to go back and journal about what they thought would work and didn't. They've also done several trials and each kid got to do it several times so they've gotten to see that there's some inconsistency in each trial. So they're learning about the, the scientific process and about gravity and force. When we assigned this we kept our instructions very vague on purpose. We just told them that they were to build a launching device. We gave a couple of examples either a slingshot or a catapult. We told them that the pumpkins would be about four inches um, we had kids build small slingshots, we had small kitchen spoon catapults, we even had some giant catapults that launched them very far. But we were very vague in our instructions because we wanted our, our kids and their parents to get involved and we wanted them to use as much creativity as they could. We had some really interesting designs, some of them that I wouldn't have thought of. I've been really impressed with how well they did.